now that we're into the full holiday spirit, you got your Christmas tree up, you got your tons of snow on the ground, you're slipping and sliding all over the place. It got me thinking, you know what was around 20 years ago? Snow! Christmas of 98 had loads of this stuff. It was like an El Nino year or something, and our area got bombarded with a fuck ton of snow. Seemingly almost every week, it would seem to never end. So that also got me thinking, you know, instead of celebrating a single game, why not choose, I don't know, a snow level theme video? I can't put a top 10 on this, but I'm going to cover snowy things or snowy areas in games that are freaking amazing that I love to play that remind me of, well, Christmas and snow in general. I think that's fair, right? The snow levels in Super Mario 64 aren't exactly, in my opinion, the best, but they're the ones I remember the most as far as Mario were to go, where it felt kind of had a very Christmassy theme. I, I'm not really sure why, but I get the Christmas vibe for whatever reason from the Mario 64 version. Not to say that the Wii U it definitely captures like the snow and all that other stuff like that, but maybe because I was just a kid, and but I didn't get this for Christmas is what I remember. So I'm not sure why I get this Christmassy feeling to it. Maybe it just really does remind me of Christmas. I mean, it's up high up in the mountains, there's fucking snowmen, and now that I think about it, there's not really other been a Mario game that's kind of had that kind of depth. Maybe the newest one, I don't have it, but has that kind of depth and kind of a snowy thing. So, uh, yeah, there is um, Mario. That's Mario's contribution to the snow. The Need for Speed series. Well, a revisit to Need for Speed 3 in any way, and Need for Speed High Stakes. This game in itself, they have great Winter Wonderland, what I call, tracks. Um, probably, I love Country Woods in Need for Speed 3, and even though I just talked about this game, I didn't actually mention really very many of the tracks, just more or less bullshitted about it. But this was one of the tracks I loved playing at night with the weather on. Always reminded me of some type of winter, you know, obviously winter made me feel, because that's when I got this game, it was like in the dead of winter. And what better way to do that than to drive like $300,000 sports cars in the snow. And that's the same thing that what I get with high stakes as well. The winter stages were beautiful, especially for what they could do. I personally like the PlayStation version in high stakes better than I did the PC version. Not necessarily in terms of graphics, but it just felt different. And it felt like it was the winter stages meant more. Maybe because it was just the bad lighting effects that the game had. As in, or at least the Need for Speed 3 did, it was either dark or light, you know. So basically there's no lights on in any building or whatnot. It's just your headlights. And Need for Speed High Stakes had a little bit different element to it. There was actually, it felt like it was more alive. Maybe that's the reason why I'll say that. But yeah, the winter driving courses in, the Need, in Need for Speed 3 and Need for Speed High Stakes, they're Class A, or A Class. There you go. A Class. Sledstorm, with the name that implies, basically means Sledstorm takes place on, well, snow. And growing up in the late 90s or whatnot, I always had cousins in that had had snowmobiles that would often, well, leave my ass behind because I favored video games over mechanical machines. So oftentimes they would take off on their snowmobiles and I'd be left playing my PlayStation. Which is one reason why I also kind of think of this game whenever winter comes up. Because it is one of those winter type games. This is one of those games I have a hard time playing during the summer. Well, I don't really play it anymore. But this was a game back way back when that I had a hard time playing during the summer because I craved winter. I craved ice. I craved snow. Because when you're from up north, sometimes the best things happen in winter. And, you know, I like to spend summer outdoor, or winter outdoors and do outdoorsy shit. But yeah, this game basically uh, is the epitome of snow. If you want snow, this game totally has it. The North Pole in Twisted Metal 3 literally has Christmas and Santa Claus in the game. What better way to end this video than uh, with Twisted Metal 3 and Christmas? Plus, who doesn't love Rob Zombie rocking out to this shit? This game, I've already kind of, I've already covered this last year, but I just had to bring it up again because this is definitely one game that totally reminds me of Snow and Christmas, mainly because I did get this game on Christmas, I played the fuck out of this game on Christmas, and I got to play the North Pole on Christmas on December 25th, 1998. It fucking rocked. No idea how awesome that was. 
But I mean, they get you know the, game, the game's all right, kind of garbagey and all that kind of stuff like that. But the game was, but, but it was fucking Christmas, and I was playing Christmas, and you get to do Christmassy type things like blow up trees and destroy your opponent, and yeah, do all kinds of fun, do all kinds of shit with it. Uh, yeah, I, I kind of lost where I was going with this, but uh, yeah, if you're talking Christmassy type levels in any type of video game. What better way to end it with this one? I think that's the best way to end this video, because I don't really know where else to go with this. But, uh, yeah. I, uh, yeah. Christmas! Woo!